गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज द थर्ड लेक्चर ऑन द यूनिट फर्स्ट क्रिस्टल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ पेपर थर्टीन और सॉलिड स्टेट विच इज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिटेल अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ लैटिस इन टू डायमेंशनल एंड थ्री डायमेंशनल बिफोर दैट जस्ट डिस्कस वॉट वी हैव स्टडीड इन द लास्ट लेक्चर इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड द सीमेट्री ऑपरेशन symmetry operations means the uh, some operations which are applied on the crystal then the crystal and its environment won't get changed that operations are called the symmetry operations there are four types of symmetry operation first one is the translation second is the rotational third reflection and fourth one is the inversion symmetry operation first translation in uh, translation symmetry operations the total crystal is translated to the another point after translation also that crystal and its environment will be the identical or same as the before that operation is called the uh, translation operations and second one is the rotational in rotational symmetry operation if uh, we are about one axis we are rotating the crystal uh, with an uh, some angle phi then after rotation also the crystal looks like same that operation is called the uh, rotational symmetry operation after that reflection symmetry operation consider the one uh, lattice and in lattice you are having one plane that plane divides the divides the total crystal into equal halves then that lattice has the reflection symmetry and the, that two halves are the mirror image of each other therefore they are called the reflection symmetry operation and fourth one is the inversion symmetry operation inversion symmetry operation applied only to the three dimensional lattices and in this if you are considering one point and uh, relative to that point it has the pos uh, that point has the pos uh, one uh, point in the positive x direction and the one point in the negative x direction then that lattice uh, possesses the inversion symmetry operation the, uh, these are the four symmetry operations after that point groups point groups means the three operations which are that reflection rotation and inversion are the point group operation uh, point operations therefore the group of these three operations is called the point group operations and there are in two dimensional there are 10 point groups are there and in three dimensional 32 uh, point groups are there and after that types of lattices in last video we didn't uh, went to the detail of the types of lattices here we will discuss about uh, in detail about the types of lattices before that just we have discussed the what is mean by privacy lattices davis lattices means the lattice which is which are consistent with the point group operation is called the davis lattices and from the 10 and 32 point groups there are four and seven different types of lattices in two dimensional and three dimensional respectively let's discuss about that types of lattices in two dimensional there are four different crystal systems are or crystal lattices are exist in the two dimensions before that just i will tell you about the lattice constant if you are considering one square then square means it has two axes means usually uh, to describe the lattices we want uh, two dimensional lattices we want the two axes and one angle between the two axes then the for 2d we need only two axes one is x axis y axis or y axis z axis or x z axis just i am considering your x axis and y axis then the side along the x axis is denoted by the a vector and the side along the y axis is denoted by the b vector and the angle between these two vectors is denoted by the angle theta then the a b and theta in two dimensional is called the lattice constant and in three dimensional for three dimensional we need three uh, axis x axis y axis and z axis and the angle opposite to a vector is denoted by alpha angle opposite to b vector is denoted by beta and angle opposite to c vector is denoted by gamma angle then the in three dimensional alpha beta gamma are the three angles and a b c are the three axis along x axis y axis and z axis then the, these three six parameters a b c and alpha beta gamma are called the lattice constant for the three dimensional and for two dimensional a b and theta two vectors and one angle for the two dimensional three vectors and three angles for the three dimensional this is just what is meant by lattice constant i am explain it here because uh, 
from here we will uh, we are discussing or we are considering the a vector b vector theta alpha beta gamma and c that's why i have discussed here let's discuss first crystal system oblique we are discussing about the two dimensional lattices oblique means in this we are having one two dimensional lattice in which the length of a vector is not equal to the length of b vector and the angle between a and b is not equal to 90 degree then that unit cell or that crystal is called the oblique crystal lattices this is one type oblique lattice for oblique lattice a see here a is not equal to b and theta is not equal to 90 degree don't consider here a is equal to b these are not equal a and b are different and the angle between them is also not equal to 90 degree then that system is called the oblique crystal system and for oblique if you want to construct the oblique then you have one you have to consider one unit cell unit cell is the basic building by which uh, rep uh, repetition in all direction we will get the total crystal structure to get the oblique crystal structure we want the unit cell as a parallelogram this is like parallelogram or kite kite is our usual but parallelogram is the regular word and this is for to construct the oblique crystal that is we want the parallelogram as the unit cell and the condition for the oblique is a is not equal to b and theta is not equal to 90 degree this is the first crystal system and in this parallelogram the these green color dots are the four lattice points which are kept at the corners therefore this is the primitive one next next crystal system is rectangular rectangular means we know that the length of one uh, vector is not equal to the length of the other side length of one side is not equal to the length of other side and the angle between them is 90 degree but length is not equal therefore the condition for the rectangle is a is not equal to b and theta is equal to 90 degree and the unit cell to construct the rectangular crystal that is we want the unit cell as the rectangle if each rectangle you are repeating in all directions you will get the rectangular crystal system and i said that in last lecture there are actually five different crystal systems are there but they are just get together and we got the four crystal system that five means four and five will come from the rectangular crystal system in rectangular crystal system consider here two systems are there just consider uh, consider this one here a is not equal to b and theta is equal to 90 degree here a is small and b is bigger one and therefore a is not equal to b but the angle between them is 90 degree this is the rectangle a is not equal to b and angle is not equal to uh, sorry angle is equal to 90 degree and here can here see that here is one atom, here is one atom, here is one atom, here is one atom. And the, we know that the in primitive unit cell, the lattice are exist only at the corners. And this is one the primitive one. Means primitive means only at corners we are having the atoms. This is one primitive. And rectangular crystal system also has the non-primitive unit cell. In non-primitive unit cell, four, this is same as A is not equal to B and theta is equal to 90 degree. But here the atoms are situated in the different as this one here the crystals or lattices are uh, placed at the corners as well as in the center of the that rectangular section therefore the rectangular have two uh, two lattices first one is the primitive unit and this one is the non primitive unit therefore oblique have one rectangular have two oblique primitive rectangular have primitive and non primitive both third one is the hexagonal in hexagonal the a is equal to b and phi is equal to 60 degree otherwise 120 degree this is actual the 60 degree angle and the unit cell for the hexagon is the hexagon here a is equal to b but angle is 60 degree or 120 degree whatever you want you will take 60 degree or 120 degree usually we will take theta is equal to 60 degree this is the third uh, lattice system hexagonal after that square we know that square for square a is equal to b and the angle between the two uh, is 90 degree this is our usual 
a is equal to b and theta is equal to 90 degree this is the fifth or fourth lattice in two dimensional there are actual four uh, lattices in the two dimensional first one is the oblique second one is the rectangular third one is the square and fourth one is the hexagon and according to their lattice constant uh, there are four difference but rectangular have two differences in one is the primitive one itself and second one is the non primitive one itself therefore total five gravis lattices are in the uh, 2d but where you are writing in the exam just uh, write four uh, rectangular pre, uh, hexagonal oblique and the square uh, square unit lattice or square gravis lattice this is all about the two dimensional types of lattices there are four types of lattices first one is oblique hexagon rectangular and square according to the uh, condition of the lattice constant you will divide them or you will separate them after that three dimensional lattices we know that the for three dimensional we need three axis x y z and the length along the x axis is a along the y axis is b and along the c uh, along the z axis is c therefore a b c and the angle opposite to alpha is sorry uh, uh, opposite to a vector is alpha opposite to b vector is beta and opposite to c vector is the gamma according to their condition we divided the total crystal system in the seven uh, types first one is the cubic for cubic lattices the length of three vectors a b and c both are uh, sorry all three are equal and the angle between them is also 90 degree here here is the first one system a is equal to b is equal to c alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degree here the length of each side along the three axis is equal and the angle between any two vectors angle between a b is alpha which is 90 degree and angle between b and c is the beta which is 90 degree and angle between the a and c is gamma which is also 90 degree this is the one system in cubic we have the three different system means here is all the atoms are, are at the corners here the atoms are at the corners as well as in the inside the lattice this is the second type and here is the in all phases or on all edges on all phases these are the three different systems of a cubic system for cubic a is equal to b b a is equal to b is equal to c and alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degree there are three types for cubic system here here is three this is the first crystal system in the three dimensional cubic after second one second is the tet uh, tetragonal the condition for the tetragonal system is a is equal to b but not equal to c and the angle alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma which is equal to 90 degree from this figure we say that the a is equal to b the length of two uh, sides is equal but the one vertical side is longer therefore this is the condition of the tetragonal system in tetragonal system there are two lattices for the two unit cells are there this one is a primitive and this one is the non primitive for this one the atoms are all are at the corners and for here the atoms are at the corners as well as in the center of the cell this is about the tetragonal for tetragonal system a is equal to b here the two vectors are equal but the third one is not equal to that that two vectors this is the, about the tetragonal system and the angle alpha beta gamma uh, all three are the at 90 degree of each other this is the tetragonal system next one orthorhombic for orthorhombic the three sides a b and c these three sides are not equal and the angle between these three are the 90 degree but the three sides are not equal to each other here c is longer than the a and b and here the b vector is longer than the a vector therefore the a is not equal to b and b is not equal to c means these three are not equal to each other they are different but the angle between these three vectors is 90 degree and for the orthorhombic we have the four unit cells this one is the primitive this one is non primitive non primitive and this one is also non primitive primitive and non primitive how i am talking that the lattice points are exist at the corners only these are the primitive and this one here the these dots are the 
atoms at the corners and here is one atom in the inner of the that cell therefore these all three are the non primitive and this one is the primitive and here p i c e f is according to the atom where it is situated means it is simple cubic or body centered or face centered or all other like that it is uh, classified as b p i c f this is about the orthorhombic crystal system for orthorhombic a is not equal to b is not a is not equal to b b is not equal to c and the angle between these three vectors alpha beta and gamma is 90 degree these are the three first one is the cubic second one is the tetragonal third one is the orthorhombic according to their lattice constant conditions they are classified fourth one is the rhombohedral or trigonal this is this rhombohedral is also called the trigonal you will say that trigonal or rhombohedral before that i tetragonal is therefore uh, is there therefore use rhombohedral instead of trigonal for the rhombohedral the condition that the three axis a is equal to b is equal to c and alpha is equal to beta but gamma is not equal to 90 degree angle here the three axis uh, length of three axis a b and c all are equal but the angle between a, alpha beta are same but alpha beta gamma both three are same but they three are not equal to 90 degree this is the condition of the rhombohedral here are gamma is 120 and here is also gamma is 120 but the situation of the or the location of the lattice points are different therefore there are two lattice uh, unit uh, unit cells are there for rhombohedral a is equal to b is equal to c and alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma but the three are not equal to 90 degree this is all about the rhombohedral after that hexagonal for hexagonal in today we discuss that a is not equal to b but here in 3d a is equal to b but not equal to c and the alpha is equal to beta which is 90 degree and gamma is 120 degree the uh, for two dimensional theta will be 60 but in three dimensional theta is the 120 degree this is ab about the hexagonal system in hexagonal a is equal to b I mean two sides are equal but the three, uh, third side is not equal to the two sides this is the condition for the side length or length of the side and the angle is alpha is equal to beta which is 90 degree but the gamma is 120 degree this is the condition for the hexagonal system and hexagonal only primitive unit cell is exist after that monoclinic for monoclinic all the length of three vectors a is not equal to b which is not equal to c means the c here a is not equal to b and is not equal to c also and the uh, angle between alpha and gamma is 90 degree and they are not equal to beta this is the condition for the monoclinic here a and b are different and c is also different from the a and b but here alpha and gamma are the 90 degree and this angle beta is not equal to 90 degree this is the condition for the monoclinic crystal system and for monoclinic there are two different unit cells are there first one is the primitive and second one is the non primitive unit cell after last after that last one is triclinic for triclinic length of the three sides are not equal and the uh, angle between uh, angle between the two sides alpha beta gamma are not equal and they are not equal to 90 degree also this is the uh, triclinic a is not equal to b c is here this one is the c vertical is the c horizontal and ho horizontal are the a and b c uh, here a b a length bit uh, length in length of each length is not same therefore a is not equal to b is not equal to c and alpha is not equal to beta and beta is not equal to gamma and this is not equal to 90 degree if and this is the all about the three dimensional bravis lattices they are cubic tetragonal orthorhombic rhombohedral hexagonal monoclinic and triclinic these are the seven different bravis lattices in the three dimensional lattices i said that there are 14 bravis lattices are there but they are grouped together and they are classified in seven how i group means how i said that there are 14 uh, 
consider this is the one this is one here only one diagram is there one second one here two means two plus one three here is one four here two six here are four ten twelve that for uh, p and f there are two consider only one and here is three means total 14 are there and in uh, two dimension five ha how i find said that in rectangular there are two unit cell primitive and non unit cell according as here also 14 are cell but that 14 are grouped together and they are classified as seven only this is all about the types of lattices next summary there are four bravis lattices in the two dimensional they are oblique rectangular hexagonal and square the condition for the oblique crystal system is a is not equal to b and theta is also not equal to 90 degree this is the oblique condition for rectangular for oblique there is only one system primitive cell is there and for rectangular a is not equal to b but theta is equal to 90 degree this is the condition of rectangular in rectangular there are two different types are there first one is for primitive and second one is for non-primitive and hexagonal a is equal to b and theta is equal to 120 degree and fourth one is where a is equal to b and theta is equal to 90 degree this is all about the two dimensional bravest lattices and third one is the three dimensional bravest lattices there are seven different crystal systems exist in the three dimensional bravest lattices they are cubic tetragonal orthorhombic rhombohedral hexagonal monoclinic and triclinic for cubic three sides are equal a is equal to b is equal to c and alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma which is equal to 90 degree three lengths are same and three angles are same angles are same and they are equal to 90 degree after that tetragonal for tetragonal a is equal to b is equal to c and there is change in angle like that they are classified in the seven cubic tetragonal orthorhombic rhombohedral hexagonal monoclinic and triclinic how to remember these seven and that four that four will be easy oblique rectangular hexagonal and square we will remember but how these seven and their condition for the lattice constant just remember their initial c t o r h m t c t o r h m t c is the for cubic t for the tetragonal not triclinic or not trigonal this is for the t for tetragonal after that orthorhombic after that rhombohedral hexagonal monoclinic and triclinic this is the name c t o r h m t how to remember their lattice constant just i will discuss this is cubic a is equal to b is equal to c and alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma which is equal to 90 degree all are same and the angle is 90 degree is about cubic after that c t t means tetragonal for tetragonal just uh, break the symmetry of length a is equal to b but not equal to c and the angle will be same means uh, for, for first three break its length side and after three keep the sides same as first three and break their angles here alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degree for this also alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma but uh, length are equal here the length are different next here length all three lengths are different and the angle is same this is the, all about three means first break the length length side and keep the angle equal to 90 degree after that for fourth keep the same length a is equal to b is equal to c of the first cubic and after that break the angles alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma but not equal to 90 degree after that fifth one for fifth uh, a is equal to b is not equal to c means length is similar to the tetragonal but there is change in the angle alpha is equal to beta which is equal to 90 degree and gamma is equal to 120 degree and sixth one is the 
and for six one the length is similar to C T O same like ortho uh, orthorhombic for that the uh, three lengths are not equal and the keep this uh, angle in remember alpha is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degree and not equal to beta these are all about the six and how seven one break the three angle and break the three side this is the seventh one this is some just short trick to remember how to remember about the these four and seven bravis lattices four are easy and how to remember c t o r h m t c t o r h m t and these are the initials of the these three and for their lattice constant just keep uh, for th uh, for first three keep the angle same uh, break their axis and the next three keep their uh, length as the first three and break their angles and for seventh one break the all uh, sides length and the break the angles of the sides this is all about the types of lattices thank you